walking in space. Two astronauts ventured outside the International Space Station today. Mick Hag and Sonny Williams spent hours today repairing and upgrading the station. Hmm. It was the first time Williams stepped out of the ISS since arriving more than seven months ago. She's been stranded with fellow Boeing astronaut Butch Wilmore since June. Issues with their return Starliner spacecraft extended their stay. The two are not expected to return to Earth until March. Williams is scheduled to tackle another spacewalk with Wilmore one week from today. Hmm. A St. Pete woman knows just what it's like to walk in space. She is a retired astronaut who worked for NASA for decades. She is a remarkable woman. I spoke to Nicole Stott just hours ago, and like many of us, she watched today's spacewalk in awe. November, November, Kilo one. It is a walk that's out of this world. Okay. With a view that's out of reach for all but a few. There you go. That's it. While astronauts Nick Haig and Sonny Williams worked outside the International Space Station, their friend, retired astronaut Nicole Stott, watched on terra firma here in Florida. The cameras are so much better than when I did mine, however many years ago that was. And I love that we can share the story of it you know, that way so beautifully. Stott is one of the select few who've traveled to the ISS and walked in space. For those of us who have not walked in space, what is that like? Wow, it is a, you know, we, we, we kind of say that the whole spaceflight experience as a human being is a pretty surreal thing. You know, just to even believe you're in that place and then you're floating and flying, even inside the spacecraft, you know, when you're wearing your regular clothes. And then you go out on a spacewalk and you're out there for six hours or more. And as my mom likes to say, you know, that, that was probably the most afraid she was while I was in space. And whenever she flew over Florida, Stott sent celestial greetings to her mom in Clearwater. Some of the greatest times that would happen would be when it was, you know, people were awake down here on Earth and I'd know we were flying over and I could call my mom and tell her, look outside and wave. Lift off. With billionaires Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos spending big money on space exploration. All seven engines of full thrust. Stott is hopeful for the future. The premise is that it's all about benefiting life on Earth. And that's a pretty cool thing to be a part of. And to have those guys actively, proactively putting their investment into um, for all of our future. And Stott is hopeful kids will be inspired to shoot for the moon when it comes to careers in space. Well, first of all, I'd say the rocket ship doesn't care if you're a boy or girl, right? As humans, we tend to put these things on ourselves and um, and to not doubt yourself, to look at these things like opportunities, even if they seem so far off. And I mean, that, that was the same thing for me. I thought, oh, that's something other special people do. You know, why would they ever pick me to be an astronaut? As astronauts take their spacewalk to remember, Nicole reflects on her journey. She says the vastness of our universe makes her believe we're not alone. I think you ponder the question of how is it possible that we could be alone? When you look out into this blackness of space that just, as far as you can tell, goes on forever, uh, it just doesn't seem like we should be alone.